this video we'll be building this shed ramp. Simple, sturdy, kind of like building a deck, only a lot simpler. I'll show you how I do it. This is the lumber I'm going to use for this ramp. I've got a 2x12 here I'm going to use for the stringers. I'll be cutting this diagonally in half. We're going to also use these four 2x6 8 footers, cutting them in half. That's going to give me eight 4 foot pieces that are each 5.5 inches wide. So when we stack them all together, our ramp will be 44 inches. For this build, we're just using the basic tools, speed square hammer, tape measure. For the screws, we'll be using three inch wood deck screws with the square head bit. I'm going to use a T-square to make my diagonal cut. I'm just going to go from corner to corner. And we'll cut it with the screw saw. And there's the stringers. Before going any further, we're going to go ahead and put these up next to each other. Make sure they're nice and smooth and equal. Now I can see that this one is slightly higher than the other one, so I'm just going to go over it again with my pencil. And we'll come back and trim that. Okay, I've trimmed them up. They're all nice and equal. Looking pretty good. We'll move on to the next step. assemble this on the workbench, but first I'm going to secure it to the bench. When doing a deck, it's important to orient the wood properly. It's natural to want to put the prettiest side up, but the best way to do it is to face the side up that's on top of what I call the rainbow. If you look inside here, you'll see the rings of the tree and the lumber as it was growing. You want to put them to where it's facing up and looks like a rainbow. The reason for this is because as it dries, the board will naturally start cupping in the direction of the rainbow. If it was to be turned upside down, it will cut this way, the water will start holding in the center, and that could promote the rotting process. Okay, we're just going to simply screw them on now. Now I'm going to pre-drill the treads. I'm going to put some screws in it first. And line it up with the outside. and flush. If you keep these sides flush and you made your cuts properly, it'll come out nice and square. Looks good. Now we just keep repeating until we get down to the end.
is only one foot and one inch from the bottom to the very top of this here. And it's got an 11 degree angle. If your shed space is smaller, you can either use a smaller stringer like a 2x10 or you can dig it into the ground. And you can also add another stringer in the center if you want to beef it up, although this is quite sturdy. Well, there you have it. Shed ramp, the easy way. Mm -hmm.